All right, Cancer, here we go. This is a, this is a big week here at Steve's Love Tarot. Okay, I'm going to open this week, and I will catch some flack from it for a few people who think I do too much for the hot spots. I say that plural. But this, I'll tell you about the week here, okay? This is, this is a cure for cancer. Yes, we look at the hot spot, you, of the soulmate cycle. It's for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. But these are really all signs readings, and these get a lot of views, so I'm addressing a lot of people here. Uh, I'm going to open the week with this cure for cancer here today. All right, And I'm going to do some fun readings maybe later. We're going to open, this reading here is going to tell us why I'm pulling a Cancer Energies update tomorrow on Monday. I'm also going to open the week, probably on Tuesday, I would say, with Leo. Because it's a saga that everybody's watching. And it ties to you in a big way. It also ties to Pisces in a big way, I might add. I have a Pisces parrot here who's too busy preening right now to care. But, yeah, I see you looking up at me, motherfucker. Okay. Um... He, he looked up when I said that. Uh, it, but on Wednesday, the reason it's a big week, I'm going to open with the hot spots, Cancer and Leo. On Wednesday, I'm going to pull, my plan is to pull the uh, uh, nodes, all signs, nodes, nodes of destiny reading, which is a, a broad spectrum reading. Okay, so it's, it's going to be, it might cover your soulmate cycle, it might cover your things you're going to be coming up with during the next 18 months, things like that. It's, it's a very important reading. It's going to be a very powerful reading. So I hope everybody watches it. Uh, on Thursday, my plan is to pull on Mercury retrograde and its effect in its blending with Venus retrograde. Okay? Specifically. Because the Mercury retrograde is going to be supercharging Venus retrograde to bring, to bring people back. Basically, the second half of the month is when this shit's going to start happening. And I see it here. Yep, I agree. I see it here with my pre-shuffle here for uh, you guys here in this Cure for Cancer. So, that being said, it's a pretty big week here. All right? So, and there'll be other signs and other readings peppered in as well. But this is Cure for Cancer. And it's a look at the soulmate cycle. It's a special reading, kind of bottom cards and top cards and all that. It's a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you. But if the title brought you in here or you found Steve's Love Tarot, <laughs> You found it for a reason. If you go ahead and check the Cure for Cancer, there's a playlist. They're all timeless, including this one. But this reading here, very special, very special quest I asked of the universe to tell me why I'm opening the week tomorrow with a Cancer Energies update. And I got my answer in part here on the pre-shuffle. I got a King of Swords. There's no, I'll just tell you, in, in the five cards of this pre-shuffle, there is nothing but determination here. Okay? There's somebody who is waking the fuck up and not unlike Leo's person the other side of the hot spot somebody is chasing rainbows here and I see it your energy is starting to bleed more with the Leo readings a little bit okay and and a lot of readers are getting them backwards and it's funny I watched some uh, watched a few the other day I'm like no 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 your Leo reading is cancer your cancer reading is Leo that the hot spot and you don't it's not about the signs people are it's about the energy, okay? The soulmate cycle is like a pie cut into 12 slices if we're going to pull it on astrological signs. That's how we have to do it, all right? A real cheap-ass person who cuts a pie in 12 slices. Why am I getting these little rinky-dink slices? You cut a pie into six or eight, not 12. All right, anyway, right here. King of Swords, chasing rainbows, a little bit of rainbow here. Somebody knows where their happiness is. There's a lot of determination to come get it. And I talked about Leo because it's Leo energy crossing it. All right, it looks like that. You don't have to know a Leo. All right, I know YouTube's gone a long way to fuck tarot up big time, turn it into some kind of astrological forecast. This ain't your fucking horoscope. No, it's energy. La it's just labeled Leo energy. It's actually a frequency of energy that's very passionate and forward moving. It's, it's right here, it, it's the sun. The sun is driving this person, your person, to take action. Somebody's waking up because I've got alchemy here. I got lead into gold, right? Lead into gold, and it's crossed by the two of wands. I started laying out my pre-shuffles this way a little bit for some of you, so I could show, so I could show you how I read these cards. Okay? Two of wands, setting the intention, letting something go, setting the intention to go forward toward a new life. I, I get off of that. This person's gone through a lot of changes. All right, this person is in the middle of some sort of. It, it's it's a it's not really a dark night of the soul. It's it's a bit of a twilight light of the soul kind of a thing. My fifth card 
and I'm going to pull a sixth crossing card is the Queen of Swords again determination to come get it truth I said they're realizing some truths they want to be happy crossing it is the nine of cups it is minor arcana but it is a nine it's it's emotional contentment it, nines are the end tens are the dead end that lead to something new this is a very powerful card but it is bound by their free will as is this but over here there's a little less free will this is more the universe's first message to me which is you know somebody knows what they got to do right here the four of wands tells me some of your people might be with someone else and if that's the case you know well it's something they've tried to make work I can't really go this far but it's it's you know it's it's three of swords they've tried to make it work they thought it was a soulmate but this or I could read that as this soulmate connection is kind of drowning it out a little bit and blocking the success of it I don't know it's too far in the bottom I can't it gets a little fuzzy after five cards so I can't go there, but that's why we pull a fucking reading. So let's pull a fucking reading, shall we? Let me put these cards back randomly, okay, into the deck, and uh, let's do this. Let's let's uh, let's see. Is, is that upside down? No, that's upside down. There we go. Now they're good. Okay, we don't want any backward cards in there. Um, okay. So that's the pre-shuffle. So I'm as I see it so far, I'm pulling a reading. Uh, an energies update for you tomorrow, which will likely have an extended, and we're going to have to go all Dr. Phil, but we'll, we'll do a little Dr. Phil here too, I imagine. Um, because somebody is, uh, there's a very strong possibility that somebody you thought you'd never hear from is about to come in. And, and again, uh, I've had plenty of people write in and tell me, you know, I, I never expected blah, 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 now we got this and we got that. It, it's in the energy, folks. I can't guarantee their free will won't you know cause them to go tunes is the driving cat but it is in the energy and uh, I think the, between the node reading I mean obviously your energy update will be important but be sure and watch that all signs node reading on Wednesday and the mercury retrograde reading on Thursday uh, those are going to be some pretty powerful readings because mercury retrograde is really supercharging Venus retrograde it's a very good thing if you're waiting for something if you're waiting for something closure or a person whatever Give me a cure for cancer reading universe. Give me the soulmate cycle from the angle of cancer here. Flyover angle. Flyover angle makes it makes it kind of all signs. It it tells everybody sort of we're we're sort of taking the uh, uh, blood pressure of the uh, connection cycle as a whole here. Okay, let's see. Okay. All right. You know we pull five cards from the bottom, right? What have I just been talking about? The Knight of Wands. It's a brave, impulsive action. It's somebody fighting the urge to come towards you okay i can't make any promises that they will but they want to okay five cards from the bottom huh how about that because they want a new beginning an ace of wands they want a new beginning they're they're always on the precipice of doing it they're they're closer than they've ever been if this is somebody who you just haven't heard from who's like gone dead gone i don't even think they're spying on you anymore or you don't think they are they're right on the edge. Three of Wands. Right here. Here's our problem. There's always a problem. You can't have light without shade. It's the Burger King. The Burger King aspect of the Out of Balance Emperor just showed up here. It's the King of Wands. And you know, this is... The King of Wands does take passion, passionate action forward. Yes. But it's fake ass. It's like that Cobra, right? The person who drew this card knows what this energy is. Alright, right there. The cobra putting up the hood, making himself look bigger, you know. Uh, this tells me the energy off of this, the reason the Knight of Wands is here, which is just a brave, impulsive action. It implies that, you know, they're going to have to get some courage up to do it. I, I, I think this, this person, uh, again, is just trying to protect their ego, you know, in case you tell them to go fuck off. And right here, fixing to come out of the cold, the Five of Pentacles. I know that because it's book ending. The Knight of Wands, right there. And it's all because of truth. That's my sixth card. I don't put it on the table, but it is crossing the Five of Pentacles. 
It's someone who knows the truth. It's, it's Ace of Swords. It's Archangel Michael's Sword of Truth. It's a card of reconciliation. It implies that they want to come in from out of the cold. It also tells us that they know that they put themselves out in the cold. There's a lot of regret here. I don't have a card of regret on the table other than a little bit of sadness here. But there is. There's a lot of... Uh, somebody made a bad call here. Okay, somebody decided to make something work with somebody else. It was a mistake. I see it. This is where your energy starts to blend with the Leo angle a little bit. But it, again, it's not exact. They're slightly different. Leo's definitely more of a fucking soap opera beyond belief. All right, our reading's on the top. Let's go. Let's see what the baseline energy is. Eight of Pentacles. That, that's not surprising. Justice. Uh, Page of Wands. And the Magician again. Mm. Eight of Pentacles bookending the magician. <laughs> Somebody try. It's like it's like uh, a sleight of hand, kind of thing. You catch me? Uh, is don't put, never mind what this hand's doing. Pay attention to this hand, sort of a thing. They're trying to distract themselves a little bit, or they are distracted by something. Okay, they're distracted by something, or they're trying intentionally to distract themselves. Either way. Um, there's something something going on. This person's going through some changes with justice here. Energy is balancing. This is justice for cancer. It's falling in your reading. I could call it that. Um, and this here is communication. This is 3D. In the 3D. This is on the phone, in person, whatever. You know, it, it's, it's a very, 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 very 3D energy off of that card. Off of that page of wands. And I see it here with the Knight of Wands. It doesn't surprise me that they might downshift. Because again, right here, they're puffing up a little bit, as they always do, to protect their ego. Okay, let's clarify. Mm. I'm going to take these one at a time. All right, this is an important reading because it's going to guide me for tomorrow's energy update for you. All right, why is the uh, Eight of Pentacles here? Why is that here? Why is that here? Mm. Mm. Hmm. Very interesting. I'm actually getting energy off of why it's there as I'm shuffling. It's very specific. It is. I'm not even going to bother. It, I'll just I'll just generalize it a work project of some kind. Okay. Uh, I'll just generalize it. And it's very specific. It's only for a couple of you. I don't know why I picture some sort of playhouse or something. You know, some sort of like a theater production. Something along those lines. I, I don't know. Uh, that's going to be for like one or two people. It's just popping in. I'm giving it to you just to be transparent. You know, I'm trying to, I'm trying to be not just your favorite energy reader, but the coolest too. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. All right, here we go. No, I'm not fucking with you about the playhouse or the work project. I mean, I'm just messing. All right, why is the, why is the Eight of Pentacles here? It's crossed by the Hermit. Yeah. Uh, keeping themselves busy. Keeping themselves occupied in the Hermit cave. They are, uh, it tells me also that no matter what they're doing, again, it's like I said the other day in a three quick card reading, I think it was. It's someone trying to block emotions while they're standing next to a goddamn waterfall. You know, they got to take a piss and they're standing next to a waterfall kind of a thing. It's, it's not working. You're always there. You're always there. And you're getting in the way, which could be why they come in. It could be like, fuck it, I can't get anything done. All I can think about is this. We need some closure here. I don't know what they're going to say, but fuck it. That's all the energy around this. I just blathered out. Okay, what's on top? Seven of Wands. Yeah, they're trying to distract themselves. Or they're busy with something on their side. Again, they might be, some of you, they might be going through a divorce and it's all about pentacles and they're worried about it. That's, that could be the Leo aspect that bleeds in. Because that's what's going on with Leo for, for the most part. There's some sort of relationship that's toxic that somebody's done with. Uh, but in this case here, there isn't a third energy here. I won't lie to you, but it could be, you know. It could be that for a few of you. The universe, just I'm just bringing in the, the biggest band of energy. And the biggest band of energy is somebody who just is, is distracting themselves. But they're about to snap. They're about to fucking snap. Why is the Justice card here? A very colorful Justice card in this newer version little animal deck. I mean, I like the old one better. I like it darker. I like darker Justice. Rain but Rainbow Justice makes sense. Because justice, it, because balanced energy is happiness, you know. 
Maybe the person who, who uh, draws these cards heard me say that and said, I'm going to change the justice card because Steve said balanced energy in the 3D means happiness. Okay, well thank you. How about a residual? Do I get a residual for that? If I, if I pause that. I don't know. Uh, just <laughs> justice, why is it here? Oh, I love Sundays. Ah, the hangman. Justice in waiting. Uh, it's inevitable. It, it's inevitable. It's somebody who has a new perspective on everything. I told you this person's changing. I said that. Rewind. I said it when I pointed to the card. This person's gone through some changes. They have. This person is going through something. And it's giving them a whole new perspective on life. And I know this connection is why. I know your why. Some of you, they've read things you've said or they think whatever. I don't know. I have no idea. But somebody's got a new perspective here on some shit six of pentacles uh six of pentacles yeah i was right six of pentacles it's basically a minor arcana justice card it's just saying the same thing it's just saying the same thing but it also is saying that whatever's going on on their side has something to do with pentacles or energy being out of balance that needs to be put in balance and again if there's a tie-in to the leo energy here at all leo pisces kind of connection energetically speaking not astrologically speaking um yeah it, it is that it, it's an out of balance if it, it, they need to get rid of that energy the only way to balance that energy is to get rid of it the universe's message is clear about that why is the page of wands here because i see them coming towards you that is that is the one of the most and i'm, I'm just going to say this it's one of the most 3d energy cards i've ever thrown on the table in all my time here at steve's love tarot uh, that is very, very 3D. Okay? And I imagine it would be a bit lead into gold if this person show up. Some of you are going to be very surprised. Uh, and you're going to be surprised, I think, at some of the readings I pulled this week. Especially especially the node reading and especially Mercury retrograde and its tie, how it's going to interact with Venus retrograde. Which is specifically how I'm pulling on it. Uh, it's going to be unreal. But for now, let's focus on this Page of Wands. Why is the Page of Wands here, universe? Why? Oh my God, again, the Hermit. I told you, it's rewind. It's what I told you when I nattered off about this card. I nattered off about the uh, Knight of Wands when the Hermit crossed here. I said they're trying to distract themselves. Oh, but fuck it, I can't. They're still there. No matter what I do, it's interfering with my work. It's interfering with whatever. I need some closure here. I gotta go in. We gotta get something. Uh, there's a go. It's you know. I, I don't know how they're gonna react, but whatever. I'm just gonna go. It's that kind of energy. It's very frantic, as I'm saying it. And cr oh, oh, and crossing, Jesus Christ. I'm pulling the whole reading up. And crossing the page of wands right there, is the hermit again. It's saying they're coming in. It's verifying what I just said. They're coming in. This is very 3D energy off of this because they can't get you out of their head. And they don't know why. And we already know by accident that the Nine of Wands is here. You are consistently, persistently in their mind. They can't shake this connection. Nothing works. I don't care if, if they're on a Broadway show. Oh, I landed a Broadway show. Now I can distract myself from this soulmate connection. No, it's not working. This is major arcana and it showed up in the key positions it needed to show. This person, whether they like it or not, has changed. These connections, once these connections come in, these deep soul twin flame connections, and you go on your journey, all right, you're forever changed, you know. You're forever changed. I equated it to the smoking once. I said, you can quit smoking if you want. You can, but you're always a smoker because the, the chemicals in the cigarette, the nicotine itself, changes the wiring of your brain. It doesn't rewire back. So this is a little like, start. once you come across this, you know, once you have a soul recognition, it's a bit like that first cigarette. You're hooked. Your brain is forever rewired. In this case, it's the soul. The soul is forever rewired. They can look away all they want. But they're going through their dark night of the soul. It might take them decades because they don't have anyone guiding them like the Divine Feminines do. Because you guys are smart enough to go out and watch videos and read things and all of that. But it don't matter. 
it's resistance is futile is, is the message here why is the uh, they can't get rid of you why is the um, magician here I'm telling you if you think they won't be back they will if not right now for some of you if they if for some of you they use their free will against it fine but remember what I just told you it forever alters the soul it rewires it and those changes are happening within your person I feel it around that justice card big time and you know when I say big time like that I mean it right here uh, why's the magician here why's the magician this is such an energy of never mind what the left hands do and watch the right hand kind of a thing it's so sleight of hand oh what is this fucking hell all right oh yeah it's the it's the ten of wands they're trying to fight the changes they're trying to fight the changes that they've gone through it's a it's a card of alchemy it's lead into gold kind of energy it can be it is a little bit as it as it works with the ten of wands ten of wands is burden the ten of wands resets to what it resets to an ace of wands it wants to it's a ten look ace of wands it's right here in the second position in the bottom of the affecting energy following the reason that they're coming in again this just validates everything I told you but it does add an element that this person is fighting these changes not just trying to ignore them trying to fight them but it, as I say that I say that and I pull off the top the five of wands if I'm not at least your second favorite energy reader, fuck you. Okay? That's fucking amazing. Yeah, they are. They're trying to fight. This is an inner conflict within your person. They're trying to fight these changes that the soul's gone through. Again, once you have that first cigarette, it rewires your brain. Your brain is forever rewired. You're always hooked. Always. You can stop. You can. It's like the Hotel California. You can check out but you can never leave kind of a thing like that and that's what these connections are they're the fucking Hotel California I think I did a tweet about that a long time ago it's a very important song to the soulmate cycle I know that's not what it's about but it's very very important it's very similar in energy you know uh, in, in meaning you could check out but you can never leave this person is it, this is futile Resistance is futile. I've said that a couple of times in this reading. This is the five of wands. It's weak energy. It's nonsense. It's bullshit. This person is conflicted. They're arguing with themselves. They're trying to fight the very changes that are trying to energetically improve their life. You know, it's really funny. It's going to sound corny to say this and very unsteve like but I'm just going to tell you, and it's the only way I can phrase it, so I hope I don't offend anybody by using the word God, okay? Um, I could say the universe. I, I could replace it with the universe just to keep everybody happy but the universe itself is trying to help your person okay and I, it really is uh, because and I don't there's some sort of strong destiny here and we'll probably find out more about that on the destiny reading on Wednesday for the node shift um, but it's 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 really it's it's a very powerful energy I've never seen the universe so persistent in my life Okay, I'm gonna pull three. I'm gonna well, I'm gonna switch decks. I'm gonna switch decks to the little light seer here, and I'm gonna pull three cards from the bottom. We'll see. We'll have the universe add all this up for us. Although the the message is pretty clear here. I mean, and the crossing cards were just, and the clarifiers were just amazing in backing that up. It's unreal. Um, give me three cards, universe. What else you want to tell Cancer here? Uh, tell me what I'm gonna be. You know what? Let's do something else. Tell me what I'm going to be looking at. Add all this up for me and tell me what I'm going to be looking at in tomorrow's Cancer Energy Update. And it'll be... That's going to be a fucking reading. I'm going to have to have bacon. All right, let's see. Tell me what I'm going to be looking for in Monday's Cancer Energy Update. Add all this up for me. All right. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Uh, Ace of Wands, Four of Cups, King of Cups, Four of Cups, my pooping girl, is crossed by the Four of Wands again. Four of Wands we had in the pre-shuffle, remember I showed you. 
it started the point in the pre-shuffle where I couldn't really go any further. I said it was getting fuzzy. Right. Yeah. Uh, something within your person or outside your person is has is gone cold. There is so much fucking regret and set. Just look at the girl on the card when I say this. Okay. And look that she's looking at something else. And there's a rainbow over here. Somebody has realized that they're the cause of their own problems. It is that truth. It is that Ace of Swords epiphany that I was talking about. And what, what the epiphany is that they've had is they're not going to be able to have long term with anybody unless they open up. The King of Cups is right there. But it's more than that. On a, on a layer or two deeper, somebody is thinking back and it's in the energy here. So I'm just going to say this. If it doesn't apply to you, I'm sorry. But somebody is, is thinking back to everything they missed out on here with you. Everything they could have had. It's a whole energy of, just as, uh, like I said, look at this girl. It's a whole energy of woulda, coulda, shoulda. Right? Oh, if only I had. It's almost as though, it's almost in the energy, it's like, your friends are great and, and you know it's that kind of a thing and, and, and there's they could have had this and this and start thinking about the what just whatever just all of it just what they missed out on and they miss but they the real epiphany here is they missed out on it because of themselves because they were closed off and this four of wands crossing this again this is what she's sad about it could also be if there's a third party involved for you on their side it's it's dead it's done it is over it's finished it's disappointing also they're disappointed in everything I told you again I got a card of disappointment the page of swords here again crossing the card that's crossing my girl who looks pretty disappointed the card of disappointment the four of cups it's, it's mind-blowing so it's going to be a very interesting reading also as I go a little further I get the world. That's the most powerful card in the Major Arcana. A cycle is trying to change here. The universe is trying to force it. And I believe with the energy of what's coming up and the big readings I'm going to be pulling, the second half of January, I'm telling you, I saw it in my Q1 reading, January, February, March. January is bringing people back like mad. February is a new beginning in love. And March, March opens with temperance. Temperance is happiness. It's balanced energy. It's, it's the happily ever after. If everything plays out the way it's supposed to. Some of your people are just tunes is the driving cats. But, uh, you know, the hermit. Yeah. They're in their fields. They're in their fields. Page of cups underneath that. That's as far as I can go on the bottom. But it is what it is. It's going to be a very interesting reading about a person who's very disappointed in realizing that it's their own fucking fault and who's trying to fight the changes that are happening to them because of this connection, but they're losing. They're losing the fight, and I'll, I'll prove it to you, or we'll see. I mean, I don't have anything to prove to you, but I'll pull on this Five of Wands a little bit from the Lightseer deck, so it's a new deck. Let's go. Why is the Five of Wands here? Tell me more about this Five of Wands real quick. Because this is them fighting it. And again, they can't lose you. They can't, I mean, they, they can't get rid of you. And why they want to is the Dr. Phil portion of it, you know. It's crazy. It's crazy. But this is, this is them coming towards you. It's a very 3D energy around that. This ain't enough to stop it. The Five of Wands. Certainly not with a node shift and Mercury retrograde supercharge and Venus retrograde. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Why's the Five of Wands here? I don't see it. How futile is this universe? How futile is this? Let's see. Let's see how futile it is. Yeah. It's destiny. It's supposed to be happening. It's, just, it's the star. It's the... It's the star crossed by the sun, another star. Oh, come on. This person, give them a hug. It just, they're so unhappy on their side. It, these changes, as you fight them, it just makes it worse. Just let the energy flow. I'm sending my words to them. I promise you, I'm sending the words out through the damn energy to your person. Let the energy flow. It's 
it's destiny and the fucking crossed by the sun the, the sun representing this connection there's no way in hell these are two major arcana cards i asked the universe how futile is all this arguing with themselves uh, because this this page of wands is very 3d they're very it's very right there in front of you talking to you you know texting you whatever it is um i asked the universe how futile that is and it gave me the star crossed by the sun both of which are, are stars by the way so it's like a double star but this one's a little closer than what we're used to with stars uh, it's futile okay it's going to be a very interesting energy update tomorrow i'll be curious to see it laid out in my standard reading how it all plays out all right so that's your reading a little cure for cancer here i hope it was helpful if i help one person today i've done my job if you like this reading please like share and subscribe appreciate all the subscribers everybody who shares and everybody who watches all right We'll see what happens this week. It's going to be a very, very powerful week around here. Stick around.